it is. Right. I'm right here, dude. Ah! Why are you screaming? Because you're a ghost right now, man. No, I'm not, dude. I'm alive. Look at your hand. What? Look at My it. My hand is... What did I die? I don't know. What my, my sunglasses are ghosts, too? That doesn't make sense. Maybe you died with them on. But oh, you know what it is? What? I had a triple cheeseburger from Wendy's. Uh, I think you drank a two liter of Coca-Cola, too. Yeah, I did do that. It's Diet Coke. Uh, it makes sense. That's, so. that's what did it. But uh, why were you at Regal 24 Oaks? I don't know. Up? I don't know how I got here. If I'm dead, I, how could I drive a car? I don't... Is it like a... a Stephen King situation? Where it could, this is probably a ghost car. How am I even sitting in a ghost car? I don't know, dude. I wish there was someone we could call. Who were you going to call? Who who, 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 who are we going to call? Uh, dude, I know all your friends. Who were you going to call? Yeah. Again, why are we Bill here? Murray? Oh, Bill, wait. That, you know Bill Murray? No. Dan Aykroyd? Harold Ramis is dead. I could call him. Uh, yeah, you can. That made me sad. Oh man, that, I mean, well, I'm dead too, so I so guess I should be more him. sad about that. Dude, just go, just go chill with him. I'll go see whatever movie what I was going to see that I was in you your should. car for. What movie was that? Oh, Ghostbusters! Duh. Now that I'm looking at you. Excuse me, sir. Did you fart? That no. Oh. That is that is a, 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 a very slanderous term to my people. Or Ghost, my, my Ghostbusters? My paranormal uh, peoples. Well, can I go see Ghostbusters with you? Well, duh. Okay. We always review movies cool. together. Uh, oh. Dang it. We have dedicated our whole lives to studying the paranormal. Now there's sightings all over the city. There are people out there that need our help. Holtzman, you're a brilliant engineer. Aaron, no one's better at quantum physics than you. We can provide a real service. I'm joining the club. You guys are really smart about this science stuff, but I know New York. That's the last time I let you pick a movie. I'm so sorry. Do we have to talk about it? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We just oh saw Ghostbusters, God. as you saw from you know the little little video before. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna let you drive this one, dude. I'll jump into the the first bullet of my bag. Um. The solid first five minutes was just completely aggravating terrible. to me. I wrote that too. Terrible. It was poor character development. They introduced all the characters, not all of the characters, but they introduced a good portion of the characters way too quickly. And I, I went into this movie wanting to like it. I really, I really did want to like it. Me, on the other hand, I had a huge feeling that this movie was going to be bad. But as soon as I got into the theater, I was like, all right, maybe I'll shred it just a little bit of hope. The biggest problem for me, it felt like the four main people, Kristen Wiig, uh, Melissa McCarthy, Kate McKinnon, not so much Leslie Jones, but like, okay, so those three, they were trying way too hard. Uh, Especially Kate McKinnon. Le Leslie, and I love Kate Leslie McKinnon. Jones was easily the best character oh, as by Patty far. By far. out of all four of them. Uh, Melissa McCarthy is the Bill Murray of the original Ghostbusters, and they underutilized the crap out of her. Her improv is just ridiculously good, and she was just underwhelmed yeah. this whole time. Like they were like, which Don't is do weird, that. because Paul Feig and Melissa McCarthy go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, like they work really well together, except for this sandwich didn't even really have any Paul Feig in it. Like it didn't feel like yeah. a Paul Feig. I feel like kind of movie at all. I feel like. And I understand why they did this with all the flack they got for having an all-woman Ghostbusters crew. But I feel like they were trying too hard to prove that they could do it. If none of that crap happened with the idiot saying that they shouldn't make an all-woman Ghostbusters, 
it could have been a good movie because I felt like every joke was trying to like nudge them, be like, "Hey, look, we can do this. Yeah. We can do this too." And it was just, it just read as desperate to me. It was completely forced humor. Oh, by far. Best and the, the parts that were funny weren't because of the the four people at all. Uh huh. Like, in my opinion, the funniest line happens in the first two minutes with um, the guy from the office. I forget his name. This guy, not this guy, but this guy's name right here. I hate that 3D effect where they have the bars. Yeah, and not. Like, and then the, the stuff the, comes over the, the bars. One, like Patty's necklace was the most definitive one for me. And her hairline, like yeah, it's stuff that doesn't need to be 3D. But they did they did it when it wasn't necessary. With reboots, you have to do homages. I get that. Yeah. But do you have to smack us in the face with them? Seriously. Every there was actually one point in the movie where Mike literally turned and said, "Because they just literally slapped it, like slapped us in the face." With I forget which one it is. You'll it was, find it. It was the uh, Dan Aykroyd. It was the Dan Aykroyd yeah. Easter egg. The Dan Aykroyd cameo, cameo yeah. was almost as bad as Stan Lee cameos. And yes, I hate Stan Lee cameos, so you can just deal with it, nerds. Fourth comedy is oh oh. One, one more thing. Does the mayor have federal power? <laughs> the mayor was working with, like, the Secret oh. Service and oh. and the FBI and whatnot. Like, I feel like uh, the men in the movie were kind of, like, driven to be more stupid than anything. Again, that was, like, I understand why they did it. Yeah. But they laid it on a little bit heavy. Oh, yeah. Like, all of the men in this movie kind of just seemed like idiots. Yeah, and not like a damsel in, sh- in distress, yeah. poorly written woman character. Like, in the original, Sigourney Weaver, great character. The receptionist, whose name I can't remember, great character. But all the men in this new Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters terrible. I know why they did it. They wanted to make the Ghost Bros angry. Yeah. <laughs> Which, I mean, the Ghost Bros probably aren't going to see it anyway. Probably not. Sorry to interrupt, but what you're saying is that I shouldn't see this movie, right? Yeah. I was like, you know, I want to see it. I mean, like, Christian Wig, and it doesn't look fun. You should should go see it. I mean, if you want to see it, go see it. I don't want to see it, though. Like, I do, but I don't. Like, I don't want people in it, but it was pretty bad. If you can get, like, a free ticket, go see it. I would not, I would, or wait till it's on Redbox, but I would not. All right, so don't pay more than, like, a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we talking that long? No, she's literally right there. Oh, so <laughs> I told you. What uh, what would you rate this movie? I could see why some people would like it. Um, so obviously, if you still want to go see it, forget everything we said. Go make your own opinion. I feel that everyone should make their own opinion and not listen to people on the internet. But because we're just doing this for fun. Yeah, we're like, doing it for fun. We're not telling you guys what to do. Yeah. But I really did not enjoy this movie. It did have some perks, though. Not many. Pretty much just Rowan and Leslie Jones. Yeah. I would probably give it a uh, 3 out of 10. <laughs> we need to stop doing the same scores. So you got a 3 out of <laughs> Mike 10. Mike and too. Glenn, 3 out of 10. We're actually the same person. If you want to go <laughs> see it, go see it. If you don't, don't. It's whatever. I personally would never pay money for this. Like, if, if we saw this at the AMC like we did last week and we had to pay for it, I'd probably be angry right now. Oh, wow, Mike. That was a, that was a time of our life. That was a... Not a good time. We don't have to say a good time. But it was a time. Um, if you guys want to see a better time of our life, you should uh, check that out over there. That is our last week's review for... You ready for this? Mm-hmm. Hunt for the Wilder People. High five. Yeah. Check that out. It's actually a great movie. And Much better than Ghostbusters. But like Granted, check, completely check out, different from Ghostbusters. Check out the full review. You guys will understand. And behind me here, that is a car vlog for the movies that disappointed me most. Because I couldn't come up with any. He couldn't come up with any. But, I mean, he's got Ghostbusters now, so there's that. I do have Ghostbusters because I actually wanted to like this yeah. movie. And... Below us here, like next to these drinks, but below, there's Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You guys should go check those out. And before you do that, there's a like button and a subscribe. 
Also, comment below what we should see next week. Yeah. Your choices are Star Trek, um, Captain Fantastic, and Lights, Lights, Out. Lights Out. So let us know what to watch. Yeah.